Greetings. Brother Elder Blacklight, the Supreme Council of the Elders, Savior's Day is not over. It's never over. And the black man and woman, we are tripping 24-7. I don't care what you call yourself, uh, Christian, Muslim, you're in Satan's culture. While you're in Satan's culture, your mind is not on the Most High. Your mind is not on yourself, building yourself up. All of your attention goes to Master Satan, the plantation, corporation, owner. Long as, your, as long as your mind is on that funky dollar bill so you can pay your bills, you're in the mind of Satan and not in the mind of the Most High. See, the Most High has a nature. His nature is that of divine order. When he created the universe, there wasn't any chaos involved because he was the creator. He created uh, a self-image of himself. He created An image that we are, uh, that we inherited from him. So, we're in a culture now of Satan. And we're going to demonstrate to you why I can prove that no matter what, what you say you are, you are not that of what you say. Christian means Christ-like or either uh, Jesus' disciples. That's what, that's what people think they are when they preach the gospel of Jesus in the, Old, in the New Testament. The Jews think they are under the image of Moses and the Muslims think they're under the image of uh, Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad. But all these were prophets. Now there's one other group that's separate called the Nation of Islam. What they're doing is exalting themselves now over that of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And exalting the, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad over Master Farah Muhammad. Master Farah Muhammad is the one that founded the Nation of Islam, the Lost Found Nation of Islam. He founded it. And just like the FBI tried to exalt Malcolm X over the, the, the uh, Honorable Elijah Muhammad, they thought Malcolm, they was trying to say Malcolm X 
was the leader, <clears throat> was the leader of the nation of Islam and was the founder. I mean, we got it on tape, them talking. We got them on tape, them talking to Malcolm, trying to give Malcolm the big head. You know, and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad never did exalt himself over Master Farah Muhammad. He was the messenger of Master Farah Muhammad. So it's a, it's a thing of divine order. And from that divine order comes your culture or your, or your nature. Your nature is that of divine order. Culture means cultivate. So, because everything is uh, in degrees, and it's a process of uh, evolving to perfection. That's all it is. So, you see behind me a Knights Templar. Now, we're not going to get into. Uh, the Knights Templar on this video. We sitting this this video is sitting up for the next video. It's the culture, the culture of the Romans that we in. We're talking about the Crusades. The Crusades was a campaign against Islam. Now, Islam was a culture that <clears throat> was established to the Arabs because the Arabs was in the dark. And whenever a group of people or a person or people are in, a, in the dark, the Most High always sends a beacon of light or light. He shines light on them through wisdom and understanding of who they are. So, when uh, this happens, it happens to a, uh, when, when Allah sends, or the Most High sends, well, He sends it to the people that are in darkness. It was Muhammad who found some ancient wisdom somewhere. You know, and, the, and the words that he used to describe how this light came to him was put in a spiritual language. It had many layers of understanding and many layers of wisdom in it. And the same with Jesus. Jesus was a prophet. And... He went away to, he was chased out of, uh, he had to leave uh, Bethlehem and went to Egypt. When he came back, he had the light that he wanted to give to the people that were, were in darkness at that time. Same with Moses. Moses described his experience with the Most High in the, as a burning bush that never was consumed. And he had a bout or a contest with uh, the powers to be at that time, the system. And uh, he was given given light to uh, the so-called Jews. Then you got the then you got King David. Then you got uh, all these prophets describing the books, both uh, the Quran, the Old Testament, a uh, copulation of many books, they are describing the uh, human behavior, how we forget about the Most High who established himself in his creation. He's actually 
implanted in the original man, the black man. See what I'm saying? So, today we're going to try to get us back to this light that we got within us to keep us to shine on the darkness, to keep us out of death, always into life. As long as we got the light, we will be always into life. See, we forget about the powers that we got inside of us. And we depend on the powers of the uh, tricksters. This system, this government, the money, the economics of this government. So we got to go back to the root. We got to go back to the root of things. So this government that we live in now, this system that we live in now, is a Roman culture. And we're going to show you that in the next video. And remember, Savior's Day is every day. And if you don't practice this or think about the Most High 24-7, then you're, you're in the mind or you're practicing the culture of Satan. It's black light. Sugar, sugar, salt is salt. If you didn't get off, it ain't my fault.